very important data which I'd like to share among uh, you all. Uh, that as far as the uh, Indian scenario is concerned, uh, the journalist for print and electronic for all, uh, all mediums of media, uh, they are working under huge pressure and uh, very terrible working conditions. As per the information revealed by United Nations, I repeat, as per the information revealed by United Nations, in 2015 only, 18, 1, 8, 18 journalists have been killed while working and while covering various events. The very biggest event which I would like to share with you while covering uh, the scam of Vyapam, Vyapam Ghotala yes. in Madhya Pradesh, the very senior journalist from Astak, the TV Today and the India Today group has been uh, found dead in a, a very critical conditions and it was considered that it is the murder and related to the Vyapam scam. And as far as these concerned and very other things, many other scams like while covering the 2G scam and the Kaumal scams, many other journalists have been killed. And uh, as far as the present conditions are concerned into the Iraq, Iran, and Sudan uh, areas, many journalists have been killed, they have been kidnapped and killed. So not only at Indian level but also at international level, the journalists all across the world are working under very huge pressure and working in very dangerous conditions. So I started as far as the rights are concerned uh, for the journalist. Uh, if we are talking about journalist, journalist is also human being as we are discussing over here for human rights also. So journalist needs their protection first. And as far as the government of India is concerned, the government of India and the last UPA government and present uh, India government has presented the Vision Rule, the Safety for Vision Rule Act. And it is it is basically just to uh, just to protect the people who are ready to raise their voice against any wrong thing and against corruption and this uh, this visual law act is not related with the journalist also but as far as the rti act right to education you are very much aware about it but the right to information is also another important act which is in, uh, active from 2005 onwards in india uh, so there are many people who are working for uh, working as the rti activist and many uh, many uh, senior rti uh, activists have been killed by the various contractors and various businessmen and the various mafias and all uh, so, but in Indian scenario, in, in as far as the Indian journalism is concerned, a lot of journalists, especially for the print media, they, the RTI is the biggest source for information for them. On behalf of the RTI and by using RTI applications, they made several reports. I would like to quote many examples. The biggest example is the Vyapam only in the, and, and the Commonwealth uh, scam also. You know, the Vyapam scam highlighted by just a common man who was uh, uh, very, uh, who was in tension due to disease of uh, uh, his wife and uh, his wife was dead due to the murder operations done by the, some medical practitioners. And after knowing that, he filed some applications and he came to know the doctor who operated her wife, uh, he was not capable to operate her very well. Uh, so it was the starting for the Vyapam Gutala. And, and the tool of knowing this thing was a journalist who guided him and the tool, another important tool that was the right to information. And uh, another example which I just shared with you that is the Commonwealth. And the Commonwealth Gotala, the Commonwealth scam just highlighted due to the RTI activities. Uh, many journalists who uh, earlier was just an RTI activist, they become journalists just with this tool that is the RTI. They came to know many informations after filing many applications and they, they, they wrote a huge uh, biggest articles editorials for national dailies and internationals also and they give their recognition as far as these uh, corruption uh, cases are concerned uh, so the message uh, for you uh, at, uh, for, uh, at this day human rights day uh, for myself as far as from amity fraternity is concerned as uh, we just uh, celebrate this event today and forget our rest of the 364 days we need not to maintain that kind of spirit we must respect each and every uh, human in respect of his caste in respect of his gender and sex also. Uh, so uh, this message for my side is that we must pay our respect to each and everybody thank you thank you all of you.